Trump suspends travel from Europe for 30 days as part of response to foreign coronavirus. Remember when the biggest concern in 2020 was war with Iran? It hasn't even been two months. I feel like the seriousness of the situation has really jumped up a notch or two over the last 24 hours. 2020 is trying very hard to be the worst year in recent memory. I work as a radio operator working all air traffic on the North Atlantic Ocean. This is going to kill our traffic about as bad as when Ijafiala Yakal volcano erupted. It is going to be a slow month at work. I'm currently on a flight to Amsterdam. Bought the Wi-Fi when the flight attendants told us the news. Fuck. Holy cow this is crazy. There are decades when nothing happens, and there are weeks when decades happen. Lenin. A family member of mine is in the hospital with a dry cough, pneumonia, and high fever. According to his nurse and doctor, the CDC won't test him for COVID-19 since he hasn't traveled recently. CDC will only bring tests for those that have left the country or been around others who have been diagnosed. This is from a Kaiser in Southern California. He's 72. He's also a doctor and around patients. This is gonna get bad. RIP stock market. Well there goes my potential cheap flight plans. God damn, this is some drastic action. Petition to skip the 20s and go straight to 2030. This is quite immense. This is a very rare event that I don't think we'll ever see a travel ban like this again in our lifetimes. Tom Hanks and his wife just tweeted that they are infected with coronavirus. Uneasy face, https colon slash slash twitter com slash tom honk slash status slash 12379098970202070714 https colon slash slash twitter com slash tom honk slash status slash 12379098970202070714 it makes perfect sense for us in the UK to be exempt. We've got the keys to the Winchester, everybody in for a nice cold pint, and wait for it all to blow over. This season of Earth is getting real crazy. Can't wait to see the next twist. This is bigger news than when Air Bud came back and won the team the championship game. Never seen something like it, except then I guess. Foreign transmission is not the top priority right now. The virus is in America already and a plan for community transmission should be enacted. Does anyone doubt that the US has just as many cases if not more if they actually tested? Anything to keep up the facade though I guess. Amongst many other issues with this, I wonder how they will deal with people whose visas expire in the interim. RIP stock market. Nothing about testing domestically. Nothing. So many people here with symptoms can't get tests, per the NYT, https colon slash slash twitter. com slash maggie nyt slash status slash 12378715504616980050, s equals 20, Stephen Miller and Jared Kushner played a large role in writing the speech, so that might be why this drastic move was taken with weird exemptions. But the UK is exempt. Way to help the UK out with Brexit vs. The European Union? Cause that is weird, otherwise. Not just travel, but overseas commerce as well. See you boys at the bottom of the Dow slash Jones tomorrow morning. Edit, apparently commerce is not part of the ban after Trump remembered what cargo meant. We'll see how that shakes out. Shit I have friends in Spain studying abroad for spring break. We are exactly where Italy was two and a half weeks ago. Italy is in complete lockdown right now with a huge part of their healthcare infrastructure at or past the breaking point. Cancelling foreign flights is not going to do anything substantial at this point. All public gatherings, non-essential businesses, all non-essential travel needs to be stopped right now. Social isolation needs to happen immediately. In China, Models suggest that had they implemented their quarantine just one day earlier than they ended up doing they would have prevented 20,000 cases. If we can get this right and make the hard decisions now that we will be forced to in two weeks we could prevent millions of cases. Europe, has coronavirus. Trump, fuck you. Britain, 
also has coronavirus. Trump, except you you're cool with me. What about South Korea and Japan? The rest of Asia? I feel like travel bans work only if you go full on like China did to the point where you can't travel out of your town. Half-assed travel bans don't work. Apparently the Biogen infection in Massachusetts was started when an Italian traveled to Boston for a conference after testing positive in Europe. They were allowed to travel from Italy despite the test result. They then proceeded to infect 50 plus people at Biogen before traveling again to Texas. Like WTF airports? Both Europe and in the US. Well fuck. I understand that this involves from Europe to America travel, but what's gonna happen to to Europe from America? I go to school in Switzerland and my parents have planned to visit me here next month. LMAO why exclude UK? Way to be unnecessarily aggressive. But what about Tony vs Khabib? Can you still fly to Europe? Just no incoming flights? I didn't see that detail in the few articles I read. Can people fly to Canada and circumvent by crossing over from Canada? Wow. My parents, brother and wife, sister and husband, and other sister all left for Paris today. DHS statement clarifying the ban. HTTPS colon slash slash www. DHS, gov slash news slash 2020 slash 03 slash 11 slash Homeland Security Acting Secretary Chad F. Wolf S. Statement Presidential Proclamation, UTM underscore source equals share and UTM underscore medium equals iOS underscore app and UTM underscore name equals IOSF. Homeland Security Acting Secretary Chad F. Wolf Statement on Presidential Proclamation to Protect the Homeland from Travel-Related Coronavirus Spread Release Date, March 11, 2020 Washington, Today President Donald J. Trump signed a presidential proclamation, which suspends the entry of most foreign nationals who have been in certain European countries at any point during the 14 days prior to their scheduled arrival to the United States. These countries, known as the Schengen area, include, Austria, Belgium, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. This does not apply to legal permanent residents, generally, immediate family members of you. S. Citizens, and other individuals who are identified in the proclamation. Statement from DHS Acting Secretary Chad F. Wolf. Protecting the American people from threats to their safety is the most important job of the President of the United States. The actions President Trump is taking to deny entry to foreign nationals who have been in affected areas will keep Americans safe and save American lives. I applaud the president for making this tough but necessary decision. While these new travel restrictions will be disruptive to some travelers, this decisive action is needed to protect the American public from further exposure to the potentially deadly coronavirus. In January and February, the administration issued similar travel restrictions on individuals who had been in China and Iran. That action proved to be effective in slowing the spread of the virus to the U.S while public health officials prepared. In the next 48 hours, in the interest of public health, I intend to issue a supplemental notice of arrivals restriction requiring you. S. Passengers that have been in the Schengen area to travel through select airports where the U. S. Government has implemented enhanced screening procedures. England can have a little travel. As a treat. Trump used the address to attack Europe for not taking the same actions that he had. Does he mean pretend it will go away because that's what he did? Remember on Nye when everyone was like, 2020 is gonna be the best year yet. I wish everyone luck in the coming apocalypse. Holy fucking shit. Was it just me or did Trump look and sound particularly unhealthy? Well I'm going to make the bold prediction that the Dow Jones is gonna take a shit tomorrow. Happy to see he's finally taking some action to lower the rate it's spreading. Well now. That's something else. What happens if you're an American who's in Europe right now? 
can you enter the country? 